Done with sports talk, worldwide, with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now your boy, WBO heavyweight champion, Joseph Parker, has found his opponent for May 6th. The show had to go on. He's found somebody. Now this guy's name is Rajvin Kojonu, or the Kojonu, however you want to pronounce it. This guy's 6'8 from Rush uh, from uh, Romania, 30 years old. Right? I'm gonna say it again, 6'8. Alright? Close to it. It's 6'7 and 3 fourths, but that's 6'8. So big dude. Right? Now we're probably gonna be like, hey, well, we don't know him. Whatever. The dude's number 14 by the WBO. To find an opponent in the top 15 within a few days is good. Now, this guy. When you listen to uh, David Wiggins, I think his name is, David Higgins, uh, the Duckle event manager, right? He's, you know, promoting this. And Higgins is saying, now, uh, we didn't really never want to fight this guy, right? Because he's too familiar. He's been to two training camps from Joseph Parker, preparing him for Dimitrinko and someone else, right? So he's very familiar with Joseph Parker, right? And uh, uh, Higgins says he punches harder, he has a, a mean left hook. Now... That could be gamesmanship. You know, you have to promote your event, right? Whatever. But he has been to two training camps with Joseph Parker, so he's familiar with him. And when you're looking at the fact that Higgins stated he got on the plane immediately. They didn't have to talk him into it. Financial problems didn't happen. Nothing occurred. He was on the plane before the comments, before he hung up the phone, right? That's confidence. So I'm going to give him that. And combining that with when I was checking out what he's done, there's nobody on this ledger of note. Uh, you know, there isn't. But, you know, I'm just saying, hey, well, his last fight, he beat a dude that was 7-0 and or 7-1 and from China. And he went over to China and beat the dude. Uh, what was his name? Z, uh, Z U Wu. You know. And I'm just saying, well, hey, that wasn't what the promoter from China had in mind. I'm pretty sure about that. So, hey, there's a little adversity. Ready to go to, uh, uh, to New Zealand at the drop of a hat. So those are things that I'm looking at. Hey, look, we might be in for a good little fight. But at the end of the day, whatever I told you, I don't really care who Joseph Parker fought in this fight. Now, me being a little bit um, selfish in that I would like to get a unified champion towards the end of the year, I would like Joseph Parker to win this fight uh, with no eventualities. Nothing happening, no injuries come out of this unscathed, uncut, right? And get right into that fight, maybe July, August, with Deontay Wilder. So at the end of the year, we can get a, a unified champion. That would be the selfish part. Now, because if Kuchino were to win this fight, we're not going to ask this guy. He wasn't invited to the party. That means we're going to say, listen, dude, we're going to have to put on our empty, empty hats and say, you do something else. You can do whatever you want to do. You know, because, you know, defend it a time or two. And then we're not getting unified. But Joseph Parker's ready to unify but we're not going to ask Kujinu to do the same thing. So that's why, being selfish, I would rather Joe Spark to win this fight and get into a unification match with Deontay Wilder. But nevertheless, we got a fight coming up on May 6th. And I'm pretty sure Kujinu's not coming here to uh, just lay down. And that's all we can ask for, given all of the adversity that we've been through. Right? And we're talking about we like it's us, that Joseph Parker and his team has been through. You know what I'm saying? So let's check it out. We got a fight on May the 6th, but uh, in a couple of days, that other one's coming. We'll talk about that again soon, too. Doing my sports talk worldwide, and I'm about to hear y'all.